part anti aliasing so anti aliasing first we are going to see what is mean by aliasing it's one of the simple part so here aliasing occurs due to the fact that lines polygon edges etc are continuous and raster device is discrete we know that this is our raster device or the skin on which how the actually it scan in the raster system it scan from left to right 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 again go for the top left to right left to right top to bottom in this way actually the image is scanned and according to the pixels are displayed on the screen so that part is the crt electron gun connectors electron electrodes these focusing electrode control electrode focusing electrode horizontal deflection plate vertical deflection plate electrode beam passes all these uh, things and then display it or focus it on the phosphor coated screen so whenever we consider the raster scan system it's a horizontal uh, horizontal retrace is there and vertical retrace is there and that's why aliasing effect occurs aliasing effect occurs to present the line on the polygon edge on the raster display device electron beam sample to the discrete locations and because of that only the problem uh, that aliasing issue occurs so as one by one line scan here it effect or it shows the aliasing effect so how to avoid this aliasing effect there is one method to avoid this aliasing effect is increase the sampling frequency which is greater than twice the highest frequency in the signal what is the frequency of the signal so increase or make it twice so to avoid this aliasing this minimum sampling frequency to avoid aliasing is also called request sampling frequency so that is shown here means in the other word sample at least twice every period so that is the normal way in which it is performed you can observe here the frequency shown here it is in this way but to avoid the aliasing effect it is double you can observe that this one is double here that is one method to avoid the aliasing now jagged effect in raster graphics normally what we want we we thought that our circle when we draw a circle it looks like this one vector representation of a circle but in aliasing effects and in graphics it looks like this one why it happens due to aliasing during the rasterization of the process and in this way first this line scan line is printed then this one is scanned then this one is scanned then this one is scanned and these points are here these pixels are considered and because of this from top to bottom left to right every scan line or rasterization of the image is there we actually see jagged edges and this is aliasing effect poor representation of fine details so this image representing a chessboard in 3d normally we see like this in 3d but when we perform a rasterization and we see close up of each and every square then it looks like this so you can observe here it's a zigzag line like this why it happens again because of the rasterization which result in aliasing effect of aliasing in graphics system so that is normal 3d chessboard and when we close up of the most of the square this square looks like this now why it happens 
for every small object if the object do not cover the point within a pixel okay at which the pixel attributes are evaluated it will be not include the resulting picture means here suppose this pixel this pixel this pixel and all these are there this line we want to draw but here you can observe that this pixel only considered why because the entire image is within that pixel this pixel is only considered why because the entire image is within that pixel but these are not why because these are not in proper pixel which one to be considered in this case half below half above so we, this pixel is to be considered or this pixel is to be considered in this maximum it is in this and only a few part is with this pixel in this few part is here with this pixel maximum part is in this pixel so in that case everywhere means whenever we draw the circle we draw so these lines whether these are in every line of fix uh, line or the circle point is in proper pixel no not fit into the pixel properly since we are representing real world objects with a finite number of pixels object is nothing but the collection of pixels so we represent the object with a finite number of pixels aliasing of the frequency that zigzag or jagged lines of the frequency therefore we need to implement a technique to cancel the undesirable effects of aliasing we need to avoid the aliasing we need to cancel the effect of aliasing and that techniques are known as anti aliasing technique that techniques are known as anti aliasing technique one common anti aliasing method is super sampling one common method is super sampling so what is super sampling now we are going to see the simplest way to rasterize would be to fill only those pixels with greater than 50% coverage means in the previous case we consider only those pixels with my greater than 50% coverage so here it is considered as it is 100% coverage it is considered as it is 100% coverage now in this case which pixel is considered this one why because it has more than 50% coverage in this this pixel is considered because it has more than 50% coverage that is the simple one way for anti aliasing the simplest way to rasterize would be to fill only those pixel with 50% coverage you can see here so the pixels are considered this one this one this pixel is considered this one 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 why because these pixels are more than 50% coverage is there in that pixel now you can observe this pixel is not considered correct this pixel is not considered this pixel is not considered this one this one this one why yeah? because it has not more than 50% coverage if it is a more than 50% coverage then that pixel is considered a better method would be to determine the strength of the color used to fill each individual pixel according to the percentage covered by the line that i told you that according to the percentage covered by the line that pixel is considered okay 90% it is covered 15% it is covered so you can observe here that the strength of the color here what is considered the strength of the color is considered now here it is 90% and that's why a dark color intensity is more brightness is more while this pixel has only 15% and that's why its the strength of the color is less it is 65 so you can see the color difference it is 50% so the color difference in this way so which is has more percentage covered 
that pixel is given the good color or we can increase the strength of the color and that which pixel which has less percentage of the, the color have strength of the color is less now split single pixel into sub pixel how to find out the percentage it is 50% or whether it is 80% 90% so split the pixel single pixel into sub pixel so you can observe this pixel it is split into 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 16 16 pixels it is 4 by 4 means 16 pixels sub pixels it is divided split pixels final color is mixture of sub pixel color simple method sample at middle of each sub pixel then pixel color is the average of sub pixel colors so for each pixel we give the color according to the coverage and the average of all these color together is the color of this pixel then pixel color is the average of the sub pixel color the simple method used here is that subdivide each pixel into 4 into 4 that is uh, so there are 16 sub pixels in each pixel then apply bresenham's algorithm at sub pixel as we used in the previous lectures we have already studied the bresenham's algorithm and according to the considering the slope of the line one by one pixel is used to draw the line so apply the bresenham algorithm at sub pixel each pixel can have a maximum of four colored sub pixels now here you can observe that this pixel these these pixels are considered here now during the observation you can see that this pixel has more coverage while this pixel has very less coverage this pixel has more coverage this pixel has very less coverage this pixel has more coverage this pixel has very less coverage so accordingly the values are assigned so how many color activated so this if we consider this sub pixel this four this sub pixel four four what is indicating that this four what is indicating that it is more, more strength is there more coverage is there so we assign the value four to this this one has less coverage so three this one has less coverage to two and this has not covered this has not covered and that's why its value is zero then accordingly we assign the color if we consider this one only how to assign the color the four means highest strength so we assign the highest strength to these three sub pixels two means 50% color is applied so its strength is 50% color strength is 50% and zero there is no color for used for the zero that simple method is used here see once again every pixel is divided into 16 sub pixels using the bresenham line drawing algorithm the line is drawn here and then check how much uh, is that sub pixel carries uh, or cover that line so it is considered here for example i think it is this one this pixel these values are here okay so uh, here it's a 0 0 0 if we consider this pixel so it is 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 
Subpixels is considered if its lower left corner is inside the line. If the lower left corner is inside the line, then it is considered. So here this pixel is considered in this way. Suppose this is one of the pixel uh, is considered. This pixel is this pixel in this way. Now for every pixel, maximum of subpixels are 16. Again the same. Now, how many subpixels are covered with the line? Accordingly, the values are written here. So, it is for uh, five. This is zero. Okay, no subpixel is covered. This is zero. No line goes through this pixel or subpixel. Now, in this, how many subpixels are cover color or covered? One, two, three, four, five. Out of 16, 5 pixels are covered and that's why it is 5 divided by 16. Now in this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it is 11 by 16. In this case, it is 10 by 16. In this case, all the 15 uh, subpixels are covered. Only one pixel is not covered, subpixel. So it is 15 by 16. In this, 3 are not covered. So 13 by 16. Here it is 7 by 16, here it is 8 by 16 and here it is 2 by 16. So here instead of uh, in the previous slide what I have shown you consider 4, 4, 2, 3 whatever the coverage according to that 4 values assigned is the maximum coverage. Instead of that here fractions are used for better assigning the color. So fraction of subpixels. Whatever the covered is considered here, accordingly the color is given to that subpixel. So that is about the super sampling. If a uh, way to avoid the anti-aliasing. In super sampling, simple methods are used. Again, I am repeating in short. First. Which pixels has more than 50% coverage? These are given only the given color, whatever, more than 50%. The second way is that we assign the percentage and according to the color strength is changed. If has the maximum percentage, high strength color is given. If it is the minimum number of percentage covered, then low strength color. So in this way. Then another third way of super sampling is that Divide or split a single pixel into subpixels. Normally, 4 by 4 means it is divided into 16 subpixels. And the subpixel color is calculated, and according to that, average of the subpixel is the color of that pixel. For that, one method is used that the pixel with maximum cover assign the 4, and the pixel with minimum are assigned the value 2. And accordingly, the colors are assigned. Or for the next way method is use the fraction. Means how many subpixels are covered in a particular pixel that we use here. And accordingly, according to the percentage of the cover, the colors are assigned or strength of the color is decided. That is about the super sampling.